to another episode of the JC Show. It's a show to be, and I know it's quite late at night, but I hope everybody's still tuning in here at Channel 122. Now, right now, tonight, we're going to have two interesting guests about to inspire you, and two aspiring people as well. One is an up-and-rising singer, songwriter, and also a fashion designer student. And our second guest, our main guest of this evening, is somebody might, some of you might already know. So stick around, and let's just have fun. This is, once again, the JC Show! Our first guest, she's a singer and she's also a fashion student here at Kuching City, Sarawak. She studies in a place called Lim Kot Wing. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for our first guest, Ali Jabi. <laughs> Have a seat on the yellow pillow. You look stunning tonight. Thank good. you. Thank you for How having me. How are you feeling, me. Ellie? I'm feeling good. How are you? Cool. Now, Ellie, you're a singer. I've known, I've heard around places. You're a singer. That's how I found you. We found you. Commercial fashion student. Just tell us a little bit about yourself to, uh, over the world. That's, that's your audience over there. <laughs> and yeah, just tell us something. Who is Ellie Jabin? Um, my name is Ali Jabin, as you all know. Um, I'm 22. Right. I'm currently a fashion student in Lim Kotwe. And I'm coaching born and raised. Right, coaching represent. Give us make some noise for Ali Jabin, y'all. So Ali, um, tell us a little bit. I heard you. you know, we 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 met only like a few a couple of times. We we still and I hope uh, you can we get we get to do this session more often because my show is always open and you're a singer yourself. So I heard you went over to the states to do your studies. You went to high school there. Yeah. How was it like? Tell us a little bit, a little bit about that. It was. It was definitely a, an eye-opening experience. Okay. Like where I was, it was a lot of Asians. I would say it was like population 80% dem demographic wise, like a lot of Asians. So I didn't really feel like I was out of Malaysia. Okay. However, like people were different in a sense where like their mindsets were different. Of course. Yeah. It's, it's the culture as well. Definitely. Like people are just so much more like welcoming, open-minded, you know, as compared to how we are here. Right. But it felt like home. Like, like I home. I felt like I belong. I also want to uh, I want to ask you this as well. Um, going to the States and, of course, which part of the States? I was in Temple City, California. Temple City, Cal South Cal California. Yeah, oh, South, South California. Yeah, South California. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're like a singer. So what, what inspired you? You came from a family of musicians or is, did you start singing when you were a baby or somewhere in high school? Yeah, like I popped out and I just started singing. Just started singing. And the first song you ever <laughs> sing is, Wah! that's like your first song, right? Yeah. So how did it start? How did you what, get into music? Um, I wasn't really from like a musically inclined family. Like at least my immediate family wasn't. Okay. But my family encouraged me to like join choir. So mm. my beginnings were definitely like the choir, St. Mary's and uh, like- So you went to St. Mary's. I did, My sisters yeah. went to St. Mary's and I'm a St. Thomas. We're like opposite. Yeah. But I'm way over your <laughs> senior. You don't want to ask my age. How You're, old are you? Uh, I'm like 12 right now. Oh. Yeah, independent guy. <laughs> Work my way up. But uh, coming back from the States, uh, are you still doing music by the way? Uh, here and there, yes. Recently, not really, since I'm more focused on like my Your studies. uni. Okay. But yeah. when I came back, I enrolled in Swinburne for a little bit, and okay. I joined their theater club and their music club. Right. So I was active in both clubs. I was a lead singer in the punk rock. The cover punk band. rock band. So you're, you're, you're more into like punk rock. But you do you you do you sing only punk rock, or you have any other genres that you? I touch would on? say I'm quite versatile. Like I, d I can do R&B. I can do jazz. Mm, if you ask you me. You better to. you better sing that R&B. You better <laughs> sing that R&B, girl. You, you know, you better get up. Woo, yeah. You, you better you better sing the R&B. Yeah. And uh, coming back, so you sing gigs, cafes, and your know, parties. Private gigs, weddings. weddings um, also, I did like a musical when I was in Sunburn as well. Put you gonna lay down. Oh, put you gonna yeah, lay down. Yeah. Had, no I had concerts. the chance to like play the lead. That was mm. really fun. So you played the putri? Yes, yourself? I played Ooh. the putri as well. So you have any curses on me? Look mm. at your eyes. 
conquer the mountains? Maybe don't cross me. Okay, okay, <laughs> I'll be fine. Well, uh, we're gonna talk more about your your fashion, your your passion for studying fashion, mm -hmm. and why you choose to study here back in Kuching City right after this break at the JC Show. Ellie Jabbing in the house, make some noise. <laughs> Amazing episode. We got Ellie Jobbing in the house. Make some noise one more time for Ellie Jobbing in the house. Now, um, uh, you're such a talented person. Uh, I'd say it's genuinely not only on TV, because it's me being real, because we're just chilling. This is my house. You're in my house. I'm letting you know my parents, is, they're not here. So um, aside from singing, you're also a student. You study fashion in Lim Kok Wing University. So uh, why fashion and why you choose to study here? Why fashion? I've always been into fashion ever since I was a kid. Okay. So I feel like it's just been a long time coming for me to actually pursue it like seriously. Ooh. And why Kuching? I'm my family. They just want me to stay here like right. for now, right. which is totally understandable because I'm also like the first kid like out of. You're the four. eldest of all the family. I'm, I'm so the long. eldest. Yes. Uh, I want to point out as well. Um, uh, would you start your own business? Are you planning to have your own clothing line somewhere along the line? It's fashion? in the works. It's in the works? Yeah. Oh, very young and talented. And you already have like this goal of having your own clothing line? I do, yeah. Um, just something that screams me. Um, like you would look at it and you'd know that it's me. Like I made it. Yeah, you yeah, want to create your own brand, your own like, like your, your icon. You want to mm -hmm. be like an iconic kind of one, which is really good. Because your design will see how influenced by uh, anything uh, locally that we that could be your most of a reference or there's something that any reference that you would use for your fashions um, or designs and stuff it's pretty broad however like locally i think i would always go back to my roots so i would always try to incorporate like the iban design into like the something like modern the pakumbu, yeah. Pakumbu, yeah and like you want to fuse it together and make it like make uh, it modern right so that but, anyone can wear it. And also, uh, talking about your, your, your Iban heritage, do you speak Iban though? I do. Right? Dress I speak it at bit. home. Yeah, you address it to some Iban fans out there, some people in, the, in, 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 in at home. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, because you've been in the States for a while, and of course, you developed that, that, that accent, and not, you're oh, so... No, 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 not even. No. I feel like I've been... This is how I talk. Ever like, since you were little? Uh, ever since I was little. I think it's a St. Mary's thing. I don't know. I have I some mean, friends. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, I cannot speak for that. Okay. However, However, like, I don't feel like I've lost any sense of my identity of when I went to the States. Because yeah. I went there when I was 15, like right after PMR. Wow. So I would say like, it wasn't as if I lost. Yeah. So you, you have like 15 years of your Ibanism yeah. and then you brought it. Yeah, 15 years of like speaking Iban and then right. I suddenly lose it after three years. No way. No way. It's, it's impossible. Uh, one more time. Ellie Jia being right here. Mom, make some noise. <laughs> We're gonna go to commercial break and we come back with our, our second guest, but Ellie's gonna still chill here with us on the couch because that's what you do on the JC show. You just chill, have fun, and we'll see more things to come from Ellie here on the JC show. We'll be right back. Welcome back to another episode of the JC show. 
off air right here with me, the talented Ellie Javi once again. Thank you to Ellie for being here. And right now, we're going to move on to our second guest of the show. She shocked the world when she won the Miss World Talent a few years back. She's always been inspiring us throughout, and she is also the pride of Sarawak. Ladies and give it up for singer and songwriter, Dewi Sharista. Wow. <laughs> Welcome back, Dewi. I mean, you've been in KL for some time. And, it's, yeah. and we've, been, we've been communicating back and forth of you getting to the show, you know. Like, mm -hmm. by but you're finally here. Thank you. Welcome. Give it up one more time for Dewi, y'all. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. You're welcome. I'm so excited. <laughs> we're, we're so proud to have you. And you've always been a list of uh, some of our earliest lists, or like guests, a uh, list of guests. And you're finally here. We're so happy. So how, how have you been and how's life been? I know it's really tough. Not for you, but all of us, for, uh, right. for, for Ellie right. as well. Right. It's a pandemic, so how's work? How's life? Everything, I mean, from my side, I've been good, I've been great. Right. During the pandemic, I, I didn't really feel it actually because I was so busy, now I'm doing my master. Ah, okay. So I was, I was busy doing my research, my assignments, so I don't really go out. I okay. love to stay at home. Oh, you're a home uh, girl. You're like yeah, a home girl. <laughs> literal home girl. Home girl. Yeah. So what do you what you say, masters? What what do you study though? Uh, in creative arts. Oh, creative arts. Yeah. All right. Yeah, um, yeah. Where? Where do you study? In Aswara, my old college. Oh yeah, you went yeah, up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I cool. went to Aswara. So yeah, I was busy with that for the whole three months. Mm -hmm. uh, at first, it was okay, but the during the second month until the third month. At that time, I was like, oh, I need to go out. Fine, yeah, everybody has that urge to yeah, go out yeah. and do something. And you're stuck. I was okay. I was you're okay. Because okay. yeah. Yeah. you're yeah. so used to being a homegirl. Yeah. yeah. Are you, Ellie, are you a homegirl? Um, I'm like a little bit of both. A little bit of both, yeah. yeah. Well, you, well you, we got to get out of the house sometimes. Right? Even though yeah. I did. I did just to buy groceries. Yeah, well, buy groceries, yeah. I did as yeah. well just to... I don't know, just to see the world, like see the sky, and yeah. feel alive again. Right? So, uh, anyways, what are you currently doing? Is there, are you busy with just your masters? Are there anything uh, that you did? Are you still active with music over during yes. the pandemic? Yeah. Yes, of course. Uh, music has always been my first career, my uh, passion. Yes. So after the uh, MCO, yep. uh, we released. I, I released one song. Mm -hmm. It's called Hello Borneo. If oh, Hello Borneo, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, Hello Borneo mm -hmm. with one of the uh, Sabah's rapper. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Tuju. Tuju, so, yeah, yeah. K-Click. Mm -hmm. Shout out, K-Click. Yeah. <laughs> Boleh bako. Boleh bakalata. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to talk a little bit about uh, your achievement with uh, Miss mm -hmm. World. Mm -hmm. uh, from being Miss World in back in a few years back, mm -hmm. and now how much has Six it changed? Years, how much has it changed? I changed your a life? lot. I mean... It was an amazing experience for me, once in a lifetime experience. I had a great year, okay. 2014, because it's not only for Miss World. Mm. Three months before, I represented Malaysia too. The, but world, that one championship is, the world Championship of Performing, performing Arts. arts. Yes. And that one is for specifically for singing. Singing, of course. Yeah, and I won arts. six awards. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> so I won six awards. What was that? What's the six awards? Uh, one plus uh, okay. world champion for classic. World champion. Wow. And then wow. World champion. Three silver. Okay. For a mix. That one is for, I forgot, um, a world music and then a pop music. And the oh. other one, I, 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 I couldn't remember. What is this? Six, yeah, of course you can remember. It's too many awards. <laughs> How can you no. remember? And I can remember uh, only one award that I won. Lonta Pluru. That's oh, only, wow. only one award. <laughs> <laughs> Lonta Pluru. Also it's same. Zaman Sekolah Rendah. Are you Nathie, Ellie? Uh, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to do my shirt. Uh, yeah. So growing up, have you ever thought of actually uh, entering a beauty pageant competition such as Miss World, or you always wanted to become a singer? Because I know your father's in the audience. He's a vocal 
vocal yeah. coach himself. He's always yeah. a musician. Yes. So have you always dreamed of become a singer? And did your father support you on that? Very. Very Not well. only my father, my mom, everybody, my sister, my siblings, all of them, yeah. my brother-in-law, and now my niece and my nephew. They, are, they sing as well? They love me. <laughs> yeah, they were like all over the place. Yeah. I could see them running during the set. Very naughty. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, no they are very good. supportive mm. and um, we, me and my dad, we already plan mm. to grab that title, Miss Talent. Oh, because so I know I can it. sing. I aim uh, that title, actually. Of course actually. you can sing. Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> no, that's, 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 that, that is why, that is why I think one of the reasons why you made it that far. Because you, 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 you know what you want to do. You, you go, you work hard for it yeah. and boom. Miss yeah, Talent. yeah. So, uh, we we really aim for that title, mm -hmm. and then the, uh, this song. Have you ever? Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. Well, and you uh, on YouTube, oh, you can I, I search. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, okay, okay. that was the hardest song oh. I've ever seen. But my my dad kept on pushing me. You can do this. You can do this. So every day we will practice at least a few hours, like two, three hours, wow. just to practice that song, especially the high, the high, high notes. notes. Yeah. yeah. At first, I couldn't reach that note. Okay, so but because we practice every day, see, I got goosebumps. Right. So what do you do? Yeah. Asam Jawa every day? No, oh, no. no la. Chabi. Jerit, jerit la. Jerit, jerit la. <laughs> chucha, chucha. <laughs> I wish you joy. Huh? Right. So that, that's an amazing story because we wanted to share that story to Surah TV. At least, mm -hmm. I know you've been telling this story countless times in the past and then now you're here right now. At least, cerita sikit dengan orang sawak tau. Ada yang diam ke sini ke mungkin. Siapa yang tak? Kacat nak ke? Si kenal, si kenal. And also, how is daily like when you're not working? What do you do? What, do, what other hobbies do you have aside from singing, you know? And I love to play badminton. Oh, okay. I can never stop singing. Of course, like you're yeah, singing. In the toilet, cooking yeah, also, in the showering. kitchen. I will reading. always, yeah, reading also I will sing. You sing as well? Yeah, 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 really, really. Like you can open anything and just read. Yeah. It's yeah. like, buku, latte, no, no. <laughs> SMK. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I can never stop singing. Yeah. Love, but can never stop seeing even humming or something. Mm -hmm. oh, even I read mm -hmm. books. Mm -hmm. wow. But yeah, uh, I love to, you know, I love being at home and yeah. I'm a fam yeah. family girl. Oh yeah, yeah, because all your families family are in the audience right now. Most of them are your family <laughs> audience. So all of yeah. them are here. And I love to watch movie at home. Oh yeah, just Netflix. sit back, relax, chill. Yeah. Netflix and chill yeah. alone. Yeah. So play badminton. Yeah. But like, tipu ba. Cam ni mesti perlu lompat badminton. Oh eh? Tunggu jual lah. Kalau sih, kalau tu. So I just tunggu bola gugur that I've done. Satu kosong. You do everything. So that that's why I I it's kind of coincident as well that I pair you guys up in this episode because she's a up and rising singer, fashion designer. You already are existing Amazing. established singer, and you you mm -hmm. have your own. Uh, you used to run a, a clothing line, and now yeah. you're like passing the torch to each other. Because previously we have an episode, mm -hmm. we have Zia V and a young talented wow. singer named Aziza, and they're Amazing. both of Miri. And then now yeah. both of you here sharing the same passion. It's a it's a good scene. We're gonna move on to a, re a resolution. We're gonna talk about what's up and coming stuff going around. I'm gonna start with Ali first and foremost. Um, now this is interesting because we did a cover together, right, for the mm -hmm. show. Aside from that, are you going to write your own songs? Or what are your plans? Or do you want to kickstart your, your fashion business before you graduate? What's up with Ali in uh, time to come? Uh, I feel like I'm really ambitious for saying this, but I would love to do both of that. Like just Hey, do it. Do yeah. it. Yeah. Why not? Let's do it. If she can do it, True. why not you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. asking, I just put her beside you so she can inspire you more. Let oh, wow. it rub off on me a little bit. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'd love to write my own stuff, okay. produce my own music, and oh, simultaneously so. like get my brand out there. Oh, I'd love for people to wear my stuff on yeah. the Yeah. All right, thank you one more time. Give it for Ellie Jamming. Thank you so much. And now, the one and only Dewi, what's up and coming stuff that you are going on? Are you doing another drama? Are you writing another song? Are you gonna sing a song? Are you gonna write a song with me? Hey, but what the hell? No. <laughs> okay, uh. um, actually, I was planning to release a new song early this year, but okay. because we are having pandemic. Is it really this released? pandemic, right? Released but, already? Uh, no, still on, on the way, like, still okay. in process, recording and all. Okay. But hopefully soon, a new okay. single. The first single was 
seindah berdua the Malay right. one okay. I'm married to the semi final of music music wow music to music anak yes. sawak sampai music music oh. <laughs> on behalf also all sawak we wish both of you the best thank, thank you, you. Yes, it's, thank you for it's it's a great thing that i want to create this platform uh, so that everybody at home who's in sawak right now who watches this Uh, you can keep on dreaming. You can just keep on holding on to your dreams. You one day you're gonna be on yeah. this seat talking about your work, because we have two amazing people who's already been there, done that, and still continue doing that, inspiring yeah. others, mm -hmm. and just enjoy the beautiful art of music. Mm -hmm. So, ladies and gentlemen, one more time, give it up for Dewi Sarita and Dewi Jabri. Right after this, we're gonna come back with Dewi Sarita's performance. Thank you so much. We'll be seeing you guys soon. This is the JC Show. Bye -bye.